I thought it was Lizzie's show. <laughs> yes! Lizzie McGuire, get inside our head. Fridays at 6, 5 Central, part of Zoo Weekend. Okay, so we have our next show. A show I didn't grow up with at all. So this is all gonna be new to me. And I don't have any special guests, so this shouldn't be long. In 2001, a show by the name of Lizzie McGuire was aired on Disney Channel. It's funny how I never grew up with the show, but I'd always remember Lizzie's animated counterpart. Disney's second sitcom after Even Stevens. And just like that show, Lizzie McGuire was a hit. It even spawned a movie in 2003 that was released in theaters. The movie underperformed, but you know, one step at a time. Unlike most shows, Liz McGuire only had two seasons with, of course, 65 episodes. I'm pretty sure you all know about the 65 episode rule, but from what I read, I saw that the show was canned because of contract issues with Hilary Duff. I could be wrong, correct me if I am. Liz McGuire was created by Terry Minsky. She also worked on another show for Disney, which we'll cover in the future. There were also plans for a reboot series for Disney+, Plus, but ended up getting cancelled due to studio as dis shit, I can't say it but ended up getting cancelled due to studio disagreements. But for what we have, we got two seasons, and they both got 30 plus episodes. I've never seen anything like that. But first, let's get into the characters right quick. So without further ado, let's review Liz and McGuire. Do you mind if I try call apologize? Okay, so our main character, of course, is Lizzie McGuire. Not gonna lie, she was a bit much to handle because she has her moments where she got mad unlikable. But as the series went on, she got better. She always has her friends back and she has some funny lines here. I'd be lying if I didn't say most of my laughs came from Lizzie's animated counterpart. She's basically there to tell the audience how Lizzie is feeling. The slapstick and her lines are hilarious. Even when the many episodes the show has, it honestly never gets old. Lizzie has two best friends, Miranda and David, aka Gordo. Miranda is low-key my favorite character, most of my laughs came from her. And she's usually the person to talk to Lizzie and tell her that she needs to relax because she's overreacting. Which Lizzie does a lot in this one. But she's not a bad friend, she's just legit a cool character. I knew she'd be my favorite actor watching the first episode, but let's take it slow. Gordo is pretty much the voice of reason. The guy who tells Lizzie and Miranda that they're both tripping. I think he's cool. I think he really shines when the episodes actually revolve around him. The final episode of season 1 was a great example. Gordo is a cool dude. We also have Lizzie's family consisting of Sam, the father, Joe, the mother, and Matt, the little brother. Sam and Joe are good parents, and they're pretty chill. They're not too wacky. As a matter of fact, when the kids get in trouble, they don't overreact. They just like, eh, you're grounded. Not bad people though, because they have sweet moments together, and they make me laugh, so yeah, they're cool. Matt is a mixed bag, because sometimes he makes me laugh, but most of the time he gets on my nerves. Sorry to jump ahead, but in season one, episode six, Matt was trying to be a Snoop Dogg parody using all 2000s broken slang. I, um, I watched the Boom Crew recently. If your man doesn't say Tony Hawk it later, he ain't the one. But I guess Matt is okay. He's not doing anything new, he's just the bad kid. At Lizzie's school, we have Kate, which I'll, I'll come back to her. Ethan Kraft is a love interest, and I'm not sure why, because he's not smart. And when I say he's not smart, I mean... Surgeon. That's like a doctor, right? Yeah. The stuff he did made me laugh pretty hard, so yeah, that's cool. Kate is just a popular girl, and she's just bad. I know you have to have that one unlikable character in your show, but she has no redeeming factor. She's just an awful person for no reason. Every episode that involved her was kind of a pain to watch. She has this one moment in season two where they try to give her a redemption, but she goes right back to her usual ways, so yeah. Tudgman is everyone, and I mean everyone's punching bag, which kind of sucks because he's low-key a funny dude. He doesn't deserve most of the hate he gets from the other students because he low-key saves some of the bad episodes here. Last but not least, we have Matt's best friend Lanny, who doesn't speak, but he does make you laugh with everything he does. It's so random and it's crazy funny. I do think Matt and Lanny have a great friendship. Oh, and um, the principal, played by Philip Lewis. I wonder if he's going to be in any other Disney show. That's all the characters I want to mention. As I said earlier, I didn't grow up with the show, so this is all new to me. We had two seasons, and I was going in blind. So I was expecting the best for season one, and... Oh boy. Okay, episode one. Dude, I went in with high expectation, but damn, this pissed me off. Lizzie tries out for a cheerleading team at her school, and she, of course, doesn't make it in. And later, while she's talking to Miranda, Lizzie accidentally talks trash about Kate, and everyone at school finds out. Kate confronts Lizzie, but Miranda takes the blame. This episode was the reason Miranda became my favorite character, because she wanted all the smoke. So Kate and Miranda prank each other, 
up until Lizzie's conscience ended up getting the best of her, and she confesses to Kate. And Lizzie gets a whole cheer dedicated to her, and the whole school calls her a loser. Yeah, nah, I can't. This ending makes me so... I understand that Lizzie is in the wrong for talking trash about Kate, but she low-key kind of deserved it. And man, these cheerleaders, bro. You telling me you guys wasted 15 seconds to perform a trash-ass song and everyone at school hates me? Man, shut your bitch ass. Man, this pissed me off. I had to stop watching the show. But in all seriousness, this episode is just okay. I really hated the way the episode ended, though. Episode 4 is where Lizzie and Miranda are invited to a pool party. Damn, I almost forgot the plot to this episode. Lizzie can't go, but Miranda can, and she becomes a popular kid for like a few minutes. Later on, when Lizzie and Gordo are having fun in the backyard, Miranda pops up near the end of the episode and apologizes for her behavior. Better than the previous episode, but Lizzie gets a bit unlikable in this one. And trust me, I'm gonna be saying that a lot. Episode 6 is where Gordo wants Lizzie to take credit for his project because he thinks the teacher is giving him low grades on purpose. But in reality, the teacher gave him these grades because he wants Gordo to apply himself. I know I said that this episode pretty quick but i promise i like this episode this was good but the whole m dog plot was a bit annoying though episode 10 is where the class has to pretend to be in a fake marriage and miranda gets even crap and miranda starts to take this project a little too serious later on in this episode lizzie finds out that kate is planning to embarrass miranda and lizzie is quick to expose her so miranda finds out and calls out ethan ethan was seeing someone else weren't you ethan i thought i was gonna have two wives now i got none such a f episodes are getting pretty good. This is a really nice episode. And that surgeon joke made me laugh harder than it should have. Episode 15 is where Matt somehow sneaks into Lizzie's school without being kicked out immediately. So it makes up stories about him being famous and somehow everyone believes him. And Lizzie is just trying to get him out. I also find it kind of weird that Ethan is back as love interest even though he did Miranda dirty. But whatever, this wasn't a bad episode. Episode 16 is where Lizzie starts to care about the environment and she starts to take her job way too serious. Even to the point her friends found her annoying. I did too. And Matt became a hall monitor at his school and the power goes to his head as well. Lizzie and Matt were both annoying in this episode and Lizzie gets crazy unlikable in this one. Honestly, didn't have a good time with this one. Episode 20 is where Gordo tutors Ethan, but he still fails because he doesn't understand the way Gordo teaches. So he gets Lizzie instead and he understands the math after seeing scrumptious and cheerleaders. Okay, this episode was mid. I'll admit, I wasn't a huge fan of Ethan until later on in the series. Episode 24 is where the school is having a Halloween party, and Kate disrespects Miranda's skeletons, and it causes a curse to be unleashed at the party. But it later turns out to be a prank against Kate. The ending was pretty predictable, but this was a nice episode that was fun to watch. Episode 31 is where Gordo wants to become a man, so he's given a bar mitzvah, and he becomes a man. It's as simple as that. I personally thought this episode was pretty good. The scene where Gordo is interviewing all these other men is hilarious. And this was a great way to end off the season with Gordo becoming a man. Yeah. <laughs>
Man, Ronnie, you a bitch. I'll just say, this scene was really well acted. Instead of Lizzie asking, you know, how can you do this to me, she tries to react normally, but her emotion gets the best of her. Hilary Duff did a good job here, and Gordo talking to Lizzie was a nice scene. And I think I can say this is probably my favorite episode of the series. Episode 2 is where Lizzie, Miranda, Miranda's cousin Carlos, and Gordo can be in a Spanish game show called I can barely pronounce names, so I'm not even going to try that. But I think it's funny to see them not understand anything the game show host is saying, because none of them, except for Carlos, can speak a lick of Spanish. Episode 7 is where Lizzie is tasked to watch Matt and Lanny. While watching them, their dad's football is ruined, so Matt and Lanny go around town to try to replace it, which also leads to Lizzie, Miranda, and Gordo tracking them down. Matt and Lanny end up at an antique store, with Lizzie and the gang right behind them. They end up getting the football, but it's the wrong one. I know the ending was a bit obvious, but it was really worth it to see Lizzie and Matt get along for like a few seconds. It's a really sweet ending. Episode 9 is where Lizzie and Matt switch bodies for a day, and they both get to experience each other's day at school. Matt handles Lizzie's Kate issue, and Lizzie handles Matt's detention problem. So this is pretty much a Freaky Friday parody, which isn't bad at all. It's funny to watch Lizzie and Matt find out what happens in each other's lives. Episode 10 is where Miranda accidentally bumps into a lipstick display, and the mall cop assumes Miranda is stealing. Miranda asks Lizzie if she believes her, and for some reason Lizzie says no. And it's a stupid reason too, all because Miranda lies about being sick in gym, that means she potentially stole the lipstick. Unsurprisingly, Miranda takes offense to that. <laughs> I would too. Lizzie and Miranda fall out yet again, up until Miranda is in trouble with the teacher, and Lizzie defends her. You know, I totally trust Miranda, and if she says she didn't do something, then I'm gonna believe her. Thanks. But I did use the easy read notes. This was a nice episode. Oh yeah, this scene. And uh, Ethan Kraft uh, spotted a cloud he thought looked like a donkey and ran face first into a beehive. That, the sound of that kills me. Episode 13 is where Lizzie and Kate are working together for an upcoming dance at school. But the dance gets cancelled due to Kate breaking the statue of the school's old principal. No one knows who did it for the rest of the episode, and Lizzie struggles to either tell the principal that Kate did it or to keep her mouth shut. But Lizzie comes up with a better idea, to just blame herself so everyone can just dance. Which also means that she can't attend the party. So Lizzie stays home, a bit upset, but luckily at the end, Gordo, Miranda, Ethan, and the rest of Lizzie's class comes to her house for a party. The ending makes this episode what it is. This this was a really nice episode. Episode 18 is when, for some reason, Kate invites Lizzie, Miranda, and Gordo to a birthday party. At first they decline, but after finding out what they can potentially get in a gift bag, they change their mind. Lizzie and Miranda's parents say no, so they sneak out. Once they make it, they see Kate's cousin running the party. The episode tries to give Kate a sort of redemption arc, which at first I was impressed, but then I remember the outcome was impossible. Lizzie calls her mom and she stops the party. Ending with Kate thanking Lizzie, and she goes back to her old ways. First off, Hilary Duff's real sister is in this episode. This was a fun episode, but when they try to give Kate a redemption arc and they quickly drop it, I was a bit disappointed. Episode 20 is a Christmas special, and Lizzie and Gordo team up to build a float, but it's put on hold because the old man's plumbing isn't working, so everyone except for Lizzie is willing to help. After that, this episode is pretty much a Christmas Carol parody. This isn't a bad episode by any means, but you know how it's going to end. Episode 24 is where the students are getting ready to leave off the high school, and Goto tries to think of what to say in Lizzie's yearbook. This episode is pretty much a clip show, kind of reliving the previous episodes, and hyping up the relationship between Goto and Lizzie. At the end of the episode, the class takes one last picture together, and Goto writes something in Lizzie's yearbook. I like this scene so much because instead of Gordo outright saying it, Lizzie finds out herself and rethinks all the moments they had together. Dear Lizzie, you rock. Don't ever change. And only I really mean it. That is so sweet. Man, this episode is sweet. And this would have been a really, really nice final episode. But it's not the final episode. Episode 34 is the final episode. And it's basically where Lizzie, Miranda, and Gordo go to a live performance of a show called Clover and Daisy. Kate finds out, and the whole school finds out too, and they're seen as babies. But after Lizzie, Miranda, and Gordo sing a song for some reason, everyone claps. This was the last episode, and it kind of sucked. Doesn't really feel like an ending, but at least the rest of the season made up for it. <laughs> Overall, season 2 was a huge improvement from the last season. Episodes were way funnier, characters became more likable, and I was surprised at how good some of these scenes were handled. I'm happy I stuck around because I could have missed out on something great. Kind of sucks that the last episode didn't really deliver on what I was expecting. <laughs> But for real, I wonder why they would just end the show like that. Oh, I know why.
So like I said earlier, the show was popular enough to spawn a movie. And unlike the Even Stevens movie, this was released in theaters. Which wasn't the best idea because... yeah. I didn't hear much about this movie, so I went on to see if I could find any reviews, and I found Doug's Dizzy Simber review, and... And she's followed around by a little cartoon version, I think of her, nobody else seems to see her, and she just kind of mimics what she's saying. So you can tell Doug wasn't paying attention to the film at all, but the reviews were mostly negative. I hope you guys weren't expecting me to trash this film because... I kinda liked it. I mean, yeah, it's not a masterpiece, and it's not flawless at all, but I had a fun time, no joke. And I particularly think it's because this feels like a movie and not just a longer episode of the show. They fixed Kate in this movie, something I wasn't expecting in the slightest. He's a likable character now. No beef towards the actress though, I I'm pretty sure she's nice in real life. The plot is straightforward, Lizzie and her in a class go to Rome. Oh, and the new principal, does she look familiar? While at Rome, Lizzie is confused for a singer by the name of Isabella. A guy by the name of Pedro convinces Lizzie to join him on stage for an award show, but in reality, he just wants to expose his ex and make it seem like she was lip syncing. And since Lizzie looks like her, it was the perfect opportunity. Throughout the film, Gordo goes out his way to keep Lizzie from getting in trouble, even to the point where he liked the principal by saying he was sneaking out, and he gets sent back home. At the airport, Gordo runs into Isabella. Gordo catches her up to speed, and they make their way to the award show. They try to tell Lizzie about the situation, but for some reason she thinks Gordo is lying. You just met Pedro, what are you doing bro? She eventually listens, and Isabella embarrasses Pedro. Once Pedro is exposed, Lizzie steals the show in the most 2000s way ever. Afterwards, everyone meets up back at the hotel, later with Lizzie and Gordo going to the rooftops. And man, this scene was just great. And if you think it's because it's wrapping up the show perfectly and giving fans what they want, you are absolutely right. As I said, this is far from a masterpiece, but I don't know why I kind of think this slaps. They fix characters in this movie. I was actually surprised how much I enjoy seeing Kate in this film. Nathan made me laugh a lot in this movie. Lizzie's animated counterpart has shading, bro. The cinematography isn't anything to brag about, but there's some decent looking shots here. Lizzie and Gordo's friendship was pretty nice in this movie too, but it does kind of suck that Miranda couldn't be in this film. I'll admit, I wasn't a big fan of the songs in this movie. Honestly, they just came and went. Pedro being the bad guy of the film was pretty obvious, and it kind of annoyed me that Lizzie didn't catch on to this behavior sooner. The third act felt a bit dragged. I did almost fell asleep in some parts. I know this was short, but there isn't much to really say about this movie. Overall, if you were to give me the option to watch the Even Stevens movies over this, I'd probably choose Lizzie McGuire. Now if it was a show, it would be a different story. But I dig this movie. I think it was a perfect way to cap off the series. A bit upset that Miranda couldn't be in this one, but regardless of that, characters were at their best, and it was fun to see these characters change before the ending. You probably won't dig it as much as me, but at least I had a good time. Man, this took longer than expected, but I dig Lizzie McGuire. The more I saw these characters, the more I enjoyed it. Season 1 was a bit rough. I like episodes here and there, but it was overall pretty rough. But Season 2 and the movie is something I definitely wouldn't mind revisiting later in the future. The characters and the situations they were put in were fun to see. Even though Lizzie and the gang argue all the time, and yes, it happens a lot, they always find a way to forgive each other in the end. Although I prefer Eva Stevens a bit more, I'd love to watch Lizzie McGuire sometime in the future. Okay, next is literally the only show I'm pretty sure everyone was ready to see. So next time I see y'all, we'll be doing That's So Raven. And at first I was going to tell you who the special guests are, but nah, I'll keep it a secret. Wait, then why did you ask me to record these lines? No, man, you weren't supposed to say anything. Oh, wait, was that the cue? No, guys, yeah, no, okay, watch the show and then you can come back in November. Oh, you can do the end credits now.